They are all looking happy and healthy, I think. There we all are. Nicey nice, including our tourist Reynard. So we will, let's just get a nice view. This thing's taller than it looks. Okay, there we are. Uh, running our launch, we are going to 80 and an inverted orientation. And we're not going to launch yet because we have to target our station, the WKMSS. Where is the W? Oh, it is just coming up to us. Look at that. We got a plane on the launch pad. So I'm just going to get the station just to be a little bit ahead of us. Watch it down here on the nap ball. Okay, that should do it. Oh, what? Oh, I have a bracket the wrong way. Run, launch. Zero, 80, I. How's that? Okay, so. There we go. Nice. Oh, and I also last stream had some headache, he, uh, hiccups with uh, at the bottom there and playing with my script and saying that it wasn't recognizing when it should abort. It actually was recognizing when it should abort just absolutely fine. It was 100% doing its job. So if that engine doesn't fire in the future, if their Kerbalism decides that it's going to fail on us, it shouldn't release the launch clamps uh, emphasis on that shouldn't <laughs> my Kerbos look nervous yeah I would say I agree with you Reynard might be the least nervous of them <laughs> they're starting to feel a little better Michael's still not so sure okay now we're doing this thing The I-4 in the script, Felix, is to go up in what I would call an inverted orientation. And that is, you can't see it now because it's under the fairing, but the vehicle is oriented so that the dorsal part of the vehicle, the top part of the vehicle, is pointed down towards the surface. It's, In other words, it's flying upside down. Um, and I'm doing that because that's what the space shuttle did. And it's not necessary, but I think it looks better. So there you go. That's that. That's what the I stands for. The other option I have for putting in my script is an N, which stands for normal orientation, which is the orientation in which it comes out of the VAB, the sort of default orientation. Okay, once again, we have nerfed our thrust. Kerbals are looking more comfortable now that they are pulling significantly less Gs. Probably the ride is a lot smoother up here with the air thinner. See, an abort at this point would be fine because they could easily pick up enough speed falling from this altitude and, and glide and ditch into the water. Okay. Locking it on to the prograde vector. Reynard does not know what he's in for. Nope. Reynard seems the most comfortable, but that could just be because he's the least knowledgeable. <laughs> All right, now we're on to the Cheetah engine. I do like this booster. I think this booster is a pretty practical booster. I've had some pretty goofy ones. Okay, fairing deploy. Boop. There we go. That's really nice the way those come off. You don't often see that. Quite often they're a mess. And this looks better. You get a view from the cockpit down here of the upside down. Oh, can you not look out the windows? Are you kidding me? Well, that's unfortunate.
Thought we'd get a nice view of uh, Kerbin below us there. Uh, does the lower stage re-enter via well, with KOS? It can re-enter. I didn't do it with KOS though. So there's no KOS probe core in there, but there is or a processor in there, but there is a probe core and some reaction wheels. Oh, I should have put on some extra batteries. This thing, I should just deorbit it right away. I think I meant to do that too. Put some extra batteries on here because uh, the only electrical charge is in all oh, this 500 units of electric charge in just the probe body. That should be fine. Doesn't need it. Okay, we have hit our target apoapsis. Engine has shut off. Get ourselves into space. There we are, setting up our circularization. Everything's all lit up nicey nice. Burn is coming up in just a bit. Let's time warp to that. And then we will lose. I mean, I could hang on to this and carry it around with me, but I just, I'm not going to. It's It just gets goofy. And I have to... Well, I guess I don't have to ditch it to dock with the station, but still, I don't want it there. We'll get rid of it. We'll get rid of it as soon as this bird is done. Nose gear. There is nose gear. It's tucked inside the texture. I'll show you once we're done this. There is nose gear. I'm good. Uh, yeah, that's John. Where's the nose gear? It's there. It's just I have it tucked up too far. So it's disappeared into the... Jeez, it better be there. <laughs> I'll check that just to be sure. But first things first, we'll complete our orbital insertion. There we go. Okay, and program is done. And let's just stage... Go quickly back to this. Spin this around retrograde. Get a little puff just to get away here a little bit. Oh, it really... I, could you see that move from just the exhaust? You do have to be a little careful. Okay, uh, there we go. That's on its way back down to the surface. And we now have you. Landing gear. We should have landing gear, right? Yep. <laughs> okay not the best look in the world but whatever it is okay uh let's put this on the normal vector and see if we can catch our last dying rays of the sun oh uh, no i don't think we're getting anything <laughs> but in the meantime uh we got to get ourselves to a station so add a maneuver I come all the way around to here Oh, that's pretty close already. Play around with the timing a little bit. A little bit more prograde. There we go. 200 meter separation there. That should be fine. Okay, let's get to that. So that's a four second burn. Let's turn the thrust limiter down just a little bit. I'm assuming that affected... Oh, it does not affect both. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, so we'll put this back. I changed one and the other one didn't change automatically. I don't like that, but... Oh, well. Off to the station. Well, first the burn, then to the station. Yes, so this, this guy is... I've been asked what's going on. This is on our way to the station where there is a vehicle ready, willing, and able to take these folks to the moon. Where there is an asteroid waiting for them. Might not 
might have to save the moon for the next stream. Actually, now that I'm looking at the time here, let's start this up. That's a little too much throttle. Oh, I'll take a look at our closest approach here. Overdid it. Come back. Using RCS to dial it back a little bit. 558 meters. That's okay. Oh, make sure that's turned off. Again, get some good solar exposure there. All right, we're going to be in the station in 16 minutes. Let's go. Two minutes away, relative speeds about 29 meters per second. There's the station up there. Let's push this a little closer. It's so nice with these puff engines not having to worry about ignitions. I really should be using them more. They're not very powerful, but they are handy for vessels like this. Seeing in the chat people talking about stage recovery, which is a mod, oh, we just lost the sun, which is a mod that uh, recovers things as you descend them. Like I could have taken that um, upper stage, put some parachutes on it, did exactly what I did, and um, stage recovery would have looked at it and decided if it had enough parachutes on it or not, and decided where it was going to land and refund me an appropriate amount of money. Which is fine. Um, I just, I'm not worried about money. I mean, where's my money? I'm just under 3 million curb bucks. I'm really not too concerned about funds. So I don't care. All right, we got to find a spot to land here. We got a lot. Let's turn this this way. In a little closer. And oh, there's a docking port staring us right in the face. Let's let's reduce our velocity here. Get it under a meter per second. That's good. And let's go over to the station. And I am looking at this docking port right here. It was kind of staring right at us. And then we'll uh, switch back, set that as a target. We will also open up this for our docking port. And we will control from here, which is going to change the whole nav ball around. That's OK. And I'm thinking, yeah, this should just turn this way. Should be seeing. Okay, I should be seeing, am I controlling from here? I have a mod that should be putting a little circle on there. Let's jump back to here. Is this, I did set this as a target, right? Yeah, I can tell it is. Okay, I should be seeing 
a little target icon here and I'm not and I don't get why I'm not where is the target icon there well that sure as heck isn't right oh my gosh why 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 control from here something really okay I'm um okay I'm gonna have to eyeball this I don't like that that's not cool Oh, and the RCS thrusters aren't right either. Shoot. Okay, I gotta slow right down. I do not understand why the nav ball switched, but the prograde, retrograde icons are not correct. Yeah, quick saving is a good idea. <laughs> I see that. Use your normal. I'm not sure what that means, Kermy. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm off course. While I was looking at stuff, I drifted off course. Okay, gotta go this way. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Okay, which way is this? I'm just guessing at which... Because the... That's forward. That's backwards. Okay, that's that way. I'm just having to guess at which controls push which way. Because they don't match what's on the nav ball. Boy, I hope that's a temporary thing. Let's close that. But I am 100% going by eyeball here. That way. This way. Vote vertically. Gotta come down? Yeah. This is even worse than normal docking. Not only do I have my don't have my mod available, even like the prograde retrograde targets, all that stuff is off. It's not there. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, what a pain. What a pain. I think I'm doing okay. I, I don't know the vertical though. <laughs> oh, ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'm 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 ecstatic with that, considering that was completely blind, blind without any kind of navigation tools at all. It's a little tight. It seems to be fitting in there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's shut down our engines. And we're going to have to do some major Kerbal rotations here. I actually have six Kerbals up here. we got Valentine and Bill who are already up here. we got Rob DV, Michael O, Dan P, and our tourist Raymond, who is really getting himself a nice ride for his. All I wanted to do is get into orbit. Uh, we're going to send some of them into this vessel and send them towards the moon. We're going to send some of them back down towards the surface. But all of that is going to have to be for next week.